It's it a adjustment game. <laughs> <laughs> Fire. Welcome back to that. That doesn't taste all that good, but you know what? It's pretty good. I have failed you. Uh, ooh. What is it? Oh. Oh. What's the Oh my god, sweet mud. <laughs> Parkinson's losing his own. We may have a little. <laughs> awesome. He just like shudders. He's just like, whenever his hands come together, it's just. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Oh! Just to be kind of still and comfortable. Hey, I'm bleeding you here. Oh, what's wrong with your mouth? Oh, there's a full of dick. Yeah. Really? I thought you said you didn't know the guy. Oh, yeah. He's like my boyfriend. Yeah, that's right. I mean by non pawn my bad. Am I expecting <laughs> something here? The one who pays the bills. Here we go. <laughs> this one doesn't pay my bad. Cut this shit. Shit. Maybe we can get on with the job at hand, please? Okay. He said shit. It's the walking dead. They're gonna say shit a lot. <laughs> There's a fucking tiger. <laughs> Does anybody care for a Glint burger? That episode blew my mind. <laughs> Fulfill these duties. Oh, uh, you get it? Did you fucking get it? They yeah. took the D out. But I yeah, so it's this feral, like the animals don't have a home. And the anyway, arms are on me. What? But I upped it. If you could, it'd help. <laughs> I want it to right up my butt, just like that. Oh, it does. All right, time to rip off whatever came out in 2001. All right, furries, let's go. What the fuck? Were you pushing on that stairs? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Looks like shit to get over here. I guess the rest of it looks great. <laughs> okay. Look at that Keanu Reeves stubble. <laughs> God, I haven't seen the original Matrix in so long. I know. I've seen him reloaded, like, a couple more times than, uh, well... Well, I had, um, I had the original on VHS, so I watched that a lot. Yeah. Play it by my <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Why the fuck is that a qualifier? <laughs> that was back before DVD players were, like, even common. I know, but it's just... I had this little VHS I watched, so you, uh, naturally I watched it a lot. Because I, I never really had the other ones on any sort of, like, home device theater thing. This looks like a shittier form of Beast Wars. Like, their outfits. Like, it looks like the sheen on the metallic parts. Oh, here we go. You gotta, like, waddle with your machine gun. I'm doing the waddling motion for everybody at home. Oh, here we go. This is great. her face and then you look at the right screen and she's like I I'm proud of that bitch <laughs> god it's like they really did, like with this model it just shows they ripped off Lola Bunny yeah then again was for anyone who's like going th this route I don't know that it's probably a very you know a very minority crowd here the people that find Lola Bunny to be a sexist symbol. A sexist? Yeah. Like, she's a sexist symbol. Wouldn't, well, wouldn't she be seen as, like, empowering or whatever? Because she kicked the well, shit out of Bugs Bunny? Well, then again, all at the same time, empowering. I'm sorry. I guess I'm taking... Oh, fuck. I'm taking... I am the minority. Damn it! 
Uh, I, well, I mean, I'm nothing, Lola Bunny, so I well, don't really wait. care. But... I, I reveal my trap card. I am the Minoru. Um, <laughs> but I'm the Minoru when they see report. her as empowering, it's like they sexualize the shit out of her. Yeah, it's kind of weird. She was one of the progenitors of modern furry fandom. You're not wrong. No, it's, it's just like... I mean, look, they're even using a parody of her in this video game. Is this... Yeah, except she's a squirrel, not a rabbit. But she uh. looks almost the same. No, she, yeah, she does look pretty much the same. Yeah, change the skin for the fur tone, I guess. Uh, hair is pretty much the same. Holy shit, the jersey is pretty much the same. Yeah, I was gonna say, it looks just like the jersey that she wore for... The Toon Stars! The, the, the... Was that it? I don't fucking know. It was Space Jam. Welcome to it. This your oh, no, the, the Toon Squad. The Toon Squad, that's what it was. Bro, we all going to see Space Jam? Uh. I'm dating this episode like a mofo, but who cares? Just come back to AMC and Space Jam, or I can go to Walmart and buy it on Blu-ray for like $3, and we can all save $10 on a movie ticket. Yeah, I don't really want to spend like movie theater like type money on that shit. We won't go. Everyone won't go see Space Jam. Then. Jody, Space Jam? She's never seen Space Jam. She's never seen Space Jam. She has never got up and slammed and welcome to the jam. It's your chance. Do your do your chance. You're only like two years younger than me. Can you not believe that you can fly? Oh god, the parodies of that song. Do you not feel that you can touch the sky? I believe I can die. It came out when I was one year old. I got shot by the FBI. All I wanted was a chicken wing. And a Got shot bit. in the ding a -ling. My god. Who eating your chocolate, man? Oh. Uh, is it supposed to be like Matrix? Yeah. yeah this is directly a Good job, Leah. That Matrix. was actually like. I mean, a lot of people would look at this and, like, I don't know what the fuck they're referencing, but I mean, you like, fucking pulled it out on this one. I'm sorry. Wow. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. That was so. What that was such a. That was like such a dick thing to say. I've had a really stressful day today. I'm sorry. I just walked up, so I had no idea. What you guys are doing. fucking. You guys are awesome. I'm sorry. That was a really dick thing. Wow. To say. Oh shit. I feel really bad for saying that. If that wasn't funny, I would have corrected you. <laughs> I will correct you up some. I oh, wait. Leah has Pocky. I just realized. Yeah, and she even shared her Pocky with me. She gave one of her chocolate Pockies to me. Hand, okay? Bonka. You can't have the Pocky. I'd give you one, but you'd die. So. <laughs> sorry, Jody. It's pork stick oh, wrapped in chocolate. I remember this next part. I just remember the screaming. Throw out the thing and shut the fucking door. <laughs> <laughs> because it took me forever to beat this. This next part was really fucking difficult for me. Yeah, Alright, so for anybody looking, this is a Star Wars reference. This hallway? Yep. Straight up a Star Wars reference. God, what the fuck is wrong with her? Well, there you go. <laughs> Materialist. Thought you could talk. <laughs> yeah, like for real. Like, fuck. Oh, what do I got? Come here, my little beauty. Oh, give me a Gotcha. Get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna this is like, this is every every person's dream. I like how money is so important to you, but you're like dropping it as you're running. It's like flying out of your asshole. You have so much of it that it doesn't matter. Oh, well, you not. You only get three. You only get three, Jeremy. <laughs> Finally. What the fuck? We're all going on a house, hey, like a baby. giant ass house. Hey, boo. Yeah, we're what are you looking at? Shitty general punishment. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to throw this out here. There. Oh not... shit! What the fuck's he doing there? There are not enough stacks of money to equal a million dollars. You need. You yeah, Each yeah. stack is a hundred dollars, so you have to get ten thousand of them. Oh. Plus, you only got what three. is it with me and math today? So, you know who he is? You got me. We used to bang, but whatever. Okay. Well, you do realize that. Yeah. So, 
there's no tax tax fee. Yeah, still. And I'm well, assuming you don't think it's going to be slow. <laughs> My dust. I'm blessed. With fabled pampers. They make the French salt. Just buy a nail salon. Go, yeah, sh yeah, there you go. Yeah, our nail salon. The nail salons next to us do really fucking amazing. They apparently sell booze. Um, they apparently sell other things. A lot of nail salons actually have booze. Yeah. Like you get your nails done and shit. You get your, you know, glass of wine with your champagne. Yeah, and just sit there and, yeah. I want to get a pedicure and just mm. have a freaking glass of wine. Do I'll, you know, if I go with a bunch of people, I'll do that. Yeah. No. No. Does it? I remember that one. I remember that line. Weasel. <gasps> oh. What a weasel. Ah. Thank you very much. So we gotta do this or not? I know how to deal with men like this. Just pay the tab or get the fuck out. No, what movie is that line from? Such loyalty in this oh, I don't know. Business is business. She knows how to deal with men like this. Whoa. Cat's very upset about this. I like how she's thrusting her breasts into his face as she's dying. Hey. Or his chin, I guess. Mm -hmm. oh, I gotta go back to beating it. Boss, you feeling all right? It's a pop <laughs> The great mighty poo redux. <laughs> Along with nausea and heartburn. You don't drink milk with indigestion. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, How are you feeling? I love this guy. Doomcock. Captain, no one answered. Ah, yes, of course, my liege. It's about to get inverse. <laughs> oh, oh, very, yes. <laughs> oh, what is that photo about? Uh, let me see now. No, yes. Ah, the smell of the death. The problem is solved, I think. But, Kevin, a jigsaw cousin can see. What's going on here? It just takes me to that movie because it's an N64 game. There it is. <laughs> See? <laughs> you big fan of Le aliens, Leah? Really? Oh, shit. We should all, like, watch them. That's, like, such a <laughs> fucked up looking at. Oh, look at this lord. <laughs> like, I got the original Alien Blu-ray just to see if she would like it, and she fucking loved it. You've seen Aliens, then? Yeah, she's seen the first and the second one. Have you seen the third? Uh, she hasn't, no. I think you actually... With uh, with the new one coming out, Covenant. 
called Covenant. Yeah, he's dead. Um, they were releasing screen captures of it. It's back on Earth. Um, it involves Hicks. Hicks is still alive, or it's a clone of Hicks, but it, his face is like all burned and shit. So I'm assuming it's Hicks. Right there. Yeah. Um, and you got Ripley, not a Ripley clone, not some like I've been impregnated by an alien. Oh. Um, but like Sigourney Weaver Ripley. Yeah, Sigourney Weaver Ripley, and they're like on like this terraform surface in a, in, or it's a terraform dome. You might even call it a terra dome. Ah. Yeah. Ah. ah. Well, that's terra dome. Uh, ter- whatever the fuck. Anyways, um, they're being chased by an alien queen. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it's that's what they've teased. They haven't released a trailer. They haven't released Prometheus two or anything like that. Which oh. some oil? Really? <laughs> oh yeah. So like, I don't know. I don't know what you guys think about fucking. Oh, there he goes, the Panther King. <laughs> Damn, bitch. So, I mean, you played Live and Reloaded, right? Yeah. This is the, uh, like, you played the multiplayer? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so you know the story, the multiplayer. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, like, it's about them, the, if you're playing on the side of the teddies, it's them finding the Panther King. Mm-hmm. Like, his teddies actually did really well in the war, and they went into space to find Von Krippel, or to find the Panther King. And if you win as the teddies, that's it, they find him. And he's like, fetch me my milk. Because he has a table now, he has a really good table. Mm. And if you're the squirrel, he wakes up and then he falls into a vat of lava and it's really anticlimactic and dumb and whatever. Oh, oh no. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Oh my god, are we still in the cutscene? Holy fuck. <laughs> what? Sausage party. Sausage party on Blu ray. Oh Christ. Can we? You know what I've we are buying in a week? Sausage Party on Blu ray. Well, we'll have to watch it. I've never seen it. You haven't seen Sausage Party? Oh my. Okay, so we're all watching it. I'm not a this. fan of Seth Rogen. It's just like. Yeah, you kind don't of... have to be. It's just, you, you need to see it. Okay. Like. <laughs> oh, get, get him through the door. Wait. Oh, he didn't say it. Every time he starts talking, we should say Let's see if you can turn it. What? What the fuck is the release button? Oh, that's the reason. Ah. <laughs> hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Fuck you! You can't until he does his attack. There you go. Um, but yeah. Look, I understand the negative press of Prometheus because... Hey, guess what? We promised you a thing, and what you got was absolute schlock. It was just terrible. It was fucking... But you know what? It, it holds up. It, it, it holds up. It's it's an intro. It's part of a trilogy of its own. Yeah. So... After watching Prometheus again, it's not a terrible movie. No, it's really not. But if you go in expecting it to be an Aliens movie, like Aliens... Like, the James Cameron holy shit fest? Oh, of... it's him, James Cameron. Yeah, there he goes. He's going deep in a submarine. Well, uh, see, when I saw Prometheus in theaters, I did not know it was an alien movie. Oh, so you were kind of like, what? Or you never seen Aliens, you are like, uh... Well, I'd seen Alien, but... And yeah. Aliens, but... I saw the alien at the end, and I was like, what the fuck is this thing? Oh, really? You didn't even recognize it? Well, I recognized it, but I was just like, this thing looks like crap. Well, I mean, it's supposed to, because it's not a human alien. It's not a xenomorph. I mean, mm-hmm. it's a xenomorph, but it's it's built off of the engineer. And that's what everyone was pissed off about. It's like, he doesn't look like the alien. It's like, well, he didn't come from a fucking human. He came from an egg. He latched onto that big, white, dumb fuck that honestly looked a little bit like... What's this, the dude's name from um, uh, from Age of Ultron? He, he voiced Ultron. James Spader. James Spader. He looks like a little bit like a bald James Spader. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. And everybody's like, why doesn't he look like the other aliens? It's like, well, they're also evolved, you know? 
all the aliens evolved from this one. All the the xenomorphs evolved from. Well, yeah, because that was a precursor to Alien, right? Exactly. Because if if you remember from the movie, it was just a giant fucking squid. Like when it uh, took the dude, like the door opened, it was a big old squid. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I guess I know what we're doing next Tuesday. Is that, yeah, I guess we're doing what we're doing. Warning. 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 Oh my god, Jeremy. Will you just throw this thing out the fucking You gotta door? wait till his claws run into the ground. Oh, there he goes. Oh. you get, Now you gotta fight him. Fight! How many times you gotta knock him out of the door? Three. Oh, did he kill you last time? Yeah, I only had like three pieces of chocolate left when I first started fighting him. Oh, you only have like Ow. three pieces. You only have God two damn pieces. It. Yeah, you're not helping. Come on, man. Come on. Fuck. You only got one piece now. Come on. What's going on with you? Bring you to off. My parents got tired of hearing that in the room. Because <laughs> I did this part so many fucking times. Oh, there he goes. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna fuck you. He's like, no! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> no daddy brother. <laughs> ah, sister cousin. Alright. I don't want to offend anybody with a sister cousin or a, 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 a mommy daddy. What? Oh, that doesn't make sense. There we go. Oh, oh, we beat the game. Did we? Oh, yeah, we just gotta go through the long cutscene. Alright. Time for silence. Testing department stay off of him? Hmm. That's giving me an idea. Oh! Um, hello? Uh, if there are any software engineers that can hear me, just, uh, type something in. All right. Huh? Oh, this is great! He has a little clown hat. Look at it. Here's the plan. I won't tell anyone that there's been a lockup, quite a bad one at that, left in the game. If you will say, well, I don't know, help me out with this guy here. What do you think? Mm. What if you're thinking it has, like, little glasses? He's like, oh, no! <laughs> uh, get rid of this background. It's really grimy. That's better. Um, weapon? Here's another Matrix thing. Yep. Why, why is it? Let's see now. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, no. Look how it misleads you with the uh, weapon. You die. <laughs> it did mislead me. I thought it was the other thing. You're right. Back to phase the phony business. Cool. Now, Mr. Alien, what do you see? Okay, let's get in a position. Gotta love this cat. Ready? Let's pick this up. There we go. Right. On um, my mark, and not a moment, not a moment sooner. sooner. Three, two, one, and action. What? <laughs> now you make it as a shield, and you give it to some person that you Would, just met. Wouldn't that be touching him and burning the shit out of his feet? Not right. Uh... It is xenomorph blood. It's acid. Uh, well, it's not a xenomorph. It's just Anything else? blood. Yeah. This is just blood. Oh, hello. You again. Oh, if it is a conquer. How you doing, Mr. Scroll? You have defeated the evil panther type king. Yes. Who 
you bloody rat, really. Come on, conquer. Up on six and all with you. What? But, uh, no, you don't understand. I don't really want to be king. I... Oh. Oh, no, I forgot to... <laughs> I should have brought Barry back to life. Oh, no. <laughs> It's okay. I'll put my head in your butt. It'll be fine. Oh my god, that's literally what Bill Cosby said to people. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Actually, okay. it was try this. <laughs> it's okay. It'll be good. The pudding pop. <laughs> king. You can't be king of a toilet. <laughs> You're a king of a toilet. <laughs> he did die on the king. Get it? Or uh, the king died on the John. Get it? Get it? Get it? Get it? Get it? Get it? Yeah. His Elvis. I met you like five minutes, maybe five minutes ago. Yeah. You apparently knew him from back in the day. Oh, well, shit. This is an extra long episode, everybody. We just hit the extra long mark. And <laughs> yep. Oh, here he goes. Oh, my God. She has that puckered up face. Like, what the fuck is wrong with her face? I'm ready to christen the throne. Now, this is how I see him. I hope not. It's a uh, Caribbean Paris. I think it was like a tower, and then it ended in the E. I don't know where else where the fuck you go. Tahiti. Yeah, Tahiti ends with an I. Stupid. Hope starts with an H. Stupid. Just coming out of her blowhole. Get it? <laughs> oh, look! It's where we started the game. Here I am. King. King of all the land. Who would have thought that? <laughs> Not me. I guess you know who these guys are now. be king and have all the money in the world and all the land and all that stuff but you know I don't really think I want it I just want to go home <laughs> be Barry does anybody know what this is parodying no. have a bottle of beer him just looking menacing with a glass of milk <sighs> it's not gonna happen um uh, Clockwork Orange? Yeah. There we go. Boom. Clock. You don't really know what it is you have. Until because he's orange. Mm -hmm. And it's milk. Gone. You don't know what you have until it's gone. And, well, he really liked money, so. Yeah. Fuck it. Money. Money's never gone. There's always more money. Yeah. So. Right. And that was... Conquer's bad for a day. This was Jeremy's baby. This is what he's been talking about playing since we started the channel. Mm hmm And he really, really sucked at the Let's Play. Yeah. Yeah. You really sucked at the beginning part of it. But you it was go over the waterfall. It was really funny. It was really funny. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so final thoughts on Conquer's bad I for a day. I fucking love it. It's always a great game. I mean, it makes me want to go home and play the uh, live and reloaded multiplayer. Mm -hmm. Just because I like... I like being a teddy, and I like just shooting squirrels from the high. God, if only the original Xbox servers were still up. I don't want to play Xbox. I just play with the dumb bots. Oh, well, that too, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're smart enough to actually be a challenge sometimes. Yeah, that's true. Well, I mean, you already know how I feel about the game, so. Yeah. No, tell, oh. tell them them. <coughs> okay, well, even, um, well, it doesn't. It honestly doesn't hold up today as well as it did when I was a kid, because it doesn't have the same shock value and the same, oh my god, everything's fucking great about this game. No, that should always endure, though. I mean, it always. Well, I feel like it always does. A lot of it does, and there are some parts that I find funnier now as an adult. Like mm. the little in-jokes, like the some sometime later thing that I just showed you. Like, yeah. I didn't get that as a kid. I didn't get it when I played it in high school. Okay. Well, yeah, today I still think 
the gameplay is great. The multiplayer is really, really fun. And the story, I mean, it's goofy and stupid, but that usually works out in a comedic style like this. I feel like a lot of games lack the pop culture nuances that this game has. You know, a lot of them will draw. true. They'll draw from it, but it will be so vague that it is, like, you have to really, really reach Mm -hmm. to get that kind of level. And even a lot of games that do pop culture references nowadays, they just do the most modern stuff. Exactly. Whereas this will do movies from, like, the 80s with Terminator and 70s with Clockwork Orange. Yeah, and then you had the Matrix. And then games that just came out when, I mean, movies that just came out when this came out. Right, The Matrix, you know? It's just, it, I don't know. And even uh, Saving Private Ryan, which just came out a few years prior to this game. Right, which, you know, this makes me, it's games like this that often go, well, this game will always be appreciated because it's one of those games that everybody, you have to like or you're an idiot kind of thing. Which, yeah. Chucky e. Poo, what? <laughs> Chucky e. Poo's Lament. Um, but, I'm t- like, games like, um... You know what? This is a really good one. Saints Row the Third. Saints Row the Third was a big shift in the genre. Yeah. It took on comedy. It really, like, it went over the top, like, ridiculous. Like, you had hoverboards, hover bikes. Oh. <sighs> Don't find the key. You want my dick? Yeah. No? Look at, look at his ancestor, like, judging him. Thank you. <laughs> no, I. Side. You did it. Whoa, go away, cowboy. I'll be coming. <coughs> oh, there's the power. Here. Put your dick down. What's the matter? Oh. Mm, I can go a little bit. Mm, I don't want to talk to Bob. Not on this date. It starts again, the cock and plucker. Uh, how much longer can I? Does, wait, does the N64 let you go through the game again with the crown? No. Oh, it should. That'd be great. It would be like in Wind Waker when you get to replay it with your like regular <laughs> blue crab outfit. <laughs> Grandma! Grandma gave you nothing. Oh, it's... Fuck, it started over. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, but like I was saying, Saints Row 4... Or Saints Row 3. Saints Row 4 was kind of dumb. Saints Row 3? He lost his crown. He doesn't know what the fuck happened. Uh, Saints Row 3, it, um... They brought a lot, like, I Need a Hero and all that shit. They brought, like, a lot of pop culture into the game that, you know, it was very in-your-face about it, but it was still funny. What are you doing? I'm just typing random things while you make your point. I already made my point. I mean, it's just, like... But there are also, you know, subtle nuances. There are, like, each mission. It's kind of like Grand Theft Auto. When you find that one mission, you're like, oh, fuck, yeah, it's this mission. It's the burn down the weed field mission. Yeah. Or something like that. It's just Saints Row 3, I feel like, really thrust that out there. And they, like, pretty, they, uh, in some ways they, they brought it in. some ways they really just flopped it out like a big old horse dick. Yeah. You okay, know? so... Final verdict on a scale of 1 to 5. Scale of, on a 1 to 5, I'll give this a 4.5. Yeah, I think about I would, the same for me, 4.5. I, the story's intriguing. You know, the first time, the second time through, you're not going to be as involved, but it's an engaging story. It's really fun to play. Yeah. But I'm, well, you know what, maybe this, I don't know. I uh, subtract 0. 0.5 because the controls really, really suck at parts. Yeah. Like, aiming, but you know what? Blame the N64. I think if you just... Well, the M- N64 had a shitty controller. I'll, but uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and lump in Live and Reloaded with this. Mm-hmm. I'll get a 4.5 because, th- you know what? I, well, if you combine the two, they'd have a 5. Yeah. Because Live but and Reloaded. This, this one by itself, 4.5? Yep. Yeah, that's what I get. Yeah. <laughs> 4. All right. 5. Yeah. So I was trying to have a conversation. Whatever the fuck. I guess that's not what we do here at Impaired Judgment. See you next time.